What's going on good people? Welcome back to the J to the Pizzle DIY channel. I'm JP and in this video we're going to be making this bench with this built-in cooler. So when you get thirsty, you just reach in here, you got to drink and you're good to go. Let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is build the sides. This project we're going to be using some cedar boards. I'm going to cut these 2x4s down the size on the miter saw. And this can be done using a circular saw also. And attach the boards, I'll be using pocket holes. And now it's time for everybody's favorite part. I did say all the boards in this build. That took me quite a bit of time to do it, but I'll save everyone from that. And I'll just show this one board being sanded. Go ahead and enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get these sides put together. I use glue and pocket holes for this part. Uh, I like using pocket hole screws. For me, it keeps things simple and helps me keep majority of the screws hidden, which makes the final product look uh, cleaner. Off camera I cut the support board that attaches to the two sides and I'll be using glue and pocket hole screws again to attach the board. Now the base is complete I'll move on to making the bottom part of the bench. I uh, cut the 2x4s to size and drilled some more pocket holes and I'll make sure things are squared up and once that's done I'll glue and pocket hole them together. I'm cutting some 2x2 two two pieces to have some support for the slats to sit on. I have a video explaining this process. I'll link it down in the comments and you can check it out. Uh, but once they're cut, I'll make more pocket holes and I only do one pocket hole in the 2x2s. Two For the slats, I'll measure across and I'll take the 1x4 boards to the miter saw and I'll make my cuts there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the supports down for the uh, bench. So we're going to take the 1x4s we cut, we're going to lay them on the table, and then we're just going to lay the 2x2s over that. And this is what it'll look like once we get everything in. Only thing to do now is just to glue and then screw them in and then we'll have our supports. I'll glue and screw in these support pieces. Here I'm doing a quick dry run for the slats just to verify that everything works out and then I'll go ahead and screw them in then we'll have a spot to sit on. To make sure these slats were spaced evenly, I used some scraps I had laying around and it worked out perfect. Now to attach the bottom of the bench to the base, I used some scraps to hold the bench up while I attached it to the base. I had to remove the first and the fourth board so I could attach the pieces. I drilled a pilot hole in the corner and then I used two and a half inch screws to attach it. I repeated the same process on the bottom for added strength. And now it's nap time. 
Now it's time for the back part of the bench. I cut some 2x4s and some 1x4s down the sides, and I cut the bottom piece of the 2x4s at a 15 degree angle so we can get a little bit of lean on that back piece. To finish out the back piece, I'm gonna screw the 1x4 boards using the same process as the bottom part of the bench. going on ahead and attach the back part to the rest I'm just gonna line up the back of the angle 2x4s with the edge at the bottom and we can start to see this thing coming together from the back I'm gonna use some two and a half inch screws and attach it to the base then I'll add the two middle pieces and attach them to the slats using some clamps is a good way to keep the boards in place and keep both hands free Last, I'll pre-drill some pilot holes and use two and a half inch screws again to add more strength to the bench. Repeat this process for all four boards. I'm gonna hit this bench with some natural wood stain. I definitely should have stained everything before putting this together, but I guess it's better late than never. After the stain dried, I flipped it on the side and I added some pads to the bottom. Since it's going to be outside, this is going to give the water some space to go through. To build the frame for the cooler section, I used some 2x2s and I screwed them to the support pieces underneath the slats. I cut the 1x4s at a 15 degree angle and went back to mark where to cut the other side and repeat the same, the same process all the way to the bottom for both sides. To attach all the boards, I use my Brad Neller. I pretty much use the same process for the front. I just didn't cut the boards at a 15 degree angle to start with. For the last board on the bottom, I went to the table saw and trimmed it down to size. To create the lid, I cut 1x4 boards to the same length as the front, lined them up, screwed them together using two support pieces. Once the lid was done, it was time to attach it to the bench, and I used some simple hinges to do that part. putting the top on for the cooler area and I noticed that when I try to open it you can't open it up all the way as far as I would like it to so we're gonna have to make this some adjustments and see how we can get this fixed something is I'll just cut out a little bit of the corner where it's getting caught up at and then hopefully that'll do the trick and it should be able to open up all the way so let's give that a shot and let's see what happens I marked out a small box to remove of the little area and I just used my jigsaw for this part. And it works. Last thing to do now is throw this cooler in the middle. And you can see we still got quite a bit of room left in there, and that'll do it. I made a bench like this before, but adding the cooler in the middle, 
It just took this book to another level. Can't wait to get it to him so he can enjoy it. And he can enjoy some time out in this hot weather uh, here in Texas. With that being said, be sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.